Hi. This is a video response to a video that I just removed. And it was called Pittsburgh Cops Killed Talk About Justice, which was a quote I took from someone's comment, I believe, although I can't remember whose. Um, anyway, the reason why I removed it was because I made the video um, from emotion. I didn't take the time to sit back and to think about it and to take it in first. Some people can do that. They can just make a video, boom, um, and not take time to think about it. Well, I'm always a little bit nervous in front of this camera, and sometimes I'm over emotional. And well, I need to take my own good advice and sit back and relax and just take things in first. You now, everything I said, I I, I meant. I was honest as always, I spoke from the heart, but I just should have thought things through a little bit more. Um, what I did was unintentionally singled out two people that I really respect here on YouTube that make videos that always make me think, that always educate me in some way, and that is Tina Broust and uh, MSN Doc. I apologize. Um, I didn't call them any names or anything, but what I did, <clears throat> pardon me, what I did was unintentionally kind of singled them out. See, what basically what's happened is that in recent weeks, people have made videos supporting, um, well, taking up arms against uh, the police and the, the system. No, you know, I hate the system too, but I believe in peace and diplomacy and all of that. And there's been a lot of talk, a hateful talk towards cops. Um, and there's been a lot of like a lot of comments on videos made. And with this issue with this cop or cops uh, that were shot and killed in Pittsburgh, uh that just kind of, I don't know how to put it, that just kind of triggered something in me. I, I felt a need to respond. And um, there's some videos that were made by these two members um, that I took in, you know, what they were saying uh, in consideration and, and, you know, and being considerate t with the violence that was committed towards these officers. And the emotions in what they were saying. And I, I could see how that would further encourage, you know, s some of these extremist people in, in thinking that that was a good idea. And I went and I responded. And I should have taken the time to really take in what they were saying, where they were coming from fully. And what Tenebrost was really saying um, was that he was just explaining the sociological um, setup, the scheme, you know, you know, if, if cops are brutal, you know, with people, peop some people are going to lash back. They're going to, you know, you you push and push and push. You're going to get pushed back. And um, and Doc, well, he was explaining about some of his uh, hard experiences and expressing, you know. Uh, some of his thoughts. Neither one of them were encouraging, you know, violence towards police in any way. And it was not my intention to put words uh, in their mouths. I am not that kind of person. And I think they know this. But I just see a thing is I, I just can't sleep leaving that video up because now that I've had time to take it in, I feel that I've wronged both of them, so I apologize to both of you, you know. Um, <laughs> I meant well, I spoke from the heart, but I just should have taken the time to really take in, you know, where you're really coming from. Ordinarily I do, but it was late, I've been a bit emotional with this subject, and so I have to remove that video and put this on. Now. I, I, what I said in there, I, I still believe that, um, you know, people want to fight against, 
the, the, the system, the establishment in a violent way, they're just going to ignite uh, martial law, and that is what the elitist, the extremists want. So you're going to be part of the problem. You, know, you can really, really screw over everyone that way. So for those of you who really are extremists and you know who you are, you know, whether you mean to or not, you are working for the elitists. You're helping their agenda. The last thing we need is martial law. We need peace. We need diplomacy. We need to get everything out in the open. You know, with this, wherever there's police brutality, that needs to be exposed, needs to be brought out. I'm not trying to condemn all officers. Where I live, you know, there's hardly any uh, police brutality that I am aware of, you know. Um, but depending on your, you know, you, your town, your country, your region, um, it can vary a lot. And it's hard to say exactly how much police brutality is really on the rise because of cell phones and everything. Have all these video cameras. We're getting a lot more um, images coming out about this. So, yeah, for those of you just tuning in for this, I had my hair cut, so I kind of miss it. Got cut a little too short, I think. I hate that, but you know, I'm working somewhere, and uh, you know, I can tell the boss doesn't like that. Your hair being long, it's it's doesn't you don't look professional. So anyway, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. Is it everything I said in that video is from the heart, and I meant it. You know, I still stand behind what I was saying. It just I felt that I had wronged um, you know two members there. I didn't mean to. I just should have sit back and, and thought more about what they had said and then what I was saying. So I apologize if I sent any negative vibes or, or comments your way. And it won't happen again. From now on, I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to sit back, I'm going to relax, and I'm going to really think and, and uh, really take things in and really think about what I'm saying before I go and speak. So, peace.